Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Io De Beer with us. She is the developer of Quantum Reading, where you can read 12 books in a day. And before that, she was an international library consultant where she set up 40 libraries around the world. And now she is writing a book on quantum reading with yours truly. So welcome to the show, Aya. Thank you, Tyler, and thank you so much for uh, for that lovely introduction. Of course, I'm happy to have you on. Um, very excited about this one, and we'll we'll dive in. The first one, uh, first question I have for you, Io, is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Um, it's a very personal story, Tyler, and the 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 basic message is at a fun mental level is mentalism you know you are what you think you create what you think and the quick story is um, a long time ago when my daughter was three um, my husband and I split up and one day he came to visit and took her on a plane from Australia to London so you can imagine the, um, the excitement for that it was huge drama for me and the one thing that really kept me focused, I don't know anything about mentalism or anything, was I just was absolutely determined, fanatically determined, that he was not the best parent for her. And, and you know, it took about four months and lots of stuff, but that just kept me going, kept me going. It was incredible focus. And so whenever something happens that, you know, I don't like or it goes against me, I just think, you know, just have that incredible focus and things turn out right, and mostly they do. So... Yes. For me, that was it, it. Stayed with me all my life, a long, long time ago. But I still use it every day. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Well, I guess it's within every industry, Tyler, and your life too. It's allowing, letting go. You know, because with this mentalism thing, you think about something. And then you let it go. If you give someone a present, you don't hang on to it. And when you let go, your brain changes. A whole lot of dynamics around you change. And I've seen miracles happen with my client just because they've technically let go and slept two nights over the course. And some people have got $50,000 back after three weeks. Another fellow had left a 16-year-old marriage and was living with his partner in three days he thought it would take three years and they all say it's miracles but it's just letting your brain your whole brain work for you um and i know it's very busy very difficult these days because we're all told not to do that but i think that that's where the miracle happens and it might tie in but what is your best piece of overall business advice then well trust really because in a sense you have to trust to let go you know, um, you uh, you first got to trust yourself, which is really a big thing, and lots of books written about it. And then you'll trust others, and then they'll trust you. And Stephen Covey and so many people have said trust is the best thing in the business, but really it starts with you. And um, yeah, so it's you know it's nobody's. Um, uh, what can I say? I think Byron Katie wrote a book, Loving Yourself, and um, that's it. Love yourself, trust yourself, and then things flow from that much easier. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? <laughs> I'd say the usual thing, or maybe it's not so usual. Pick more roses, play. I love um, that. <laughs> not a control flick. I said you was that in my life. And uh, uh, the way you get out of your limited way and trust, you know, you could call it the universe or whatever, to create what you desire and it's much quicker and easier I mean sometimes I, I get out of my way and I think okay I'm gonna I want this and sometimes it happens in 15 minutes that's unbelievable and synchronicity everybody knows about synchronicity that's actually when you've just said oh I'd love this and you let it go and then boops there it is it appears in front of you so um, 
uh, loving yourself, you'll see that everything is your stuff in that book Byron Katie talks about. You know, no one's to blame, nowhere to go. It's just you. And uh, so if you work with that, that's a huge shift for many people. And in your opinion, again, this could tie in, but in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Ah, but everybody has a different key, Tyler. So, but there is, of course, a book. <laughs> it's a wonderful, fun and sad book. And it's called, I don't know, you may have read it, A Hundred Days of Happiness by an Italian guy. He's a, he's a movie director, Faustus Brizzi. You will love it. And it will change you to happiness while you're reading it. Uh, can it be that simple? Well, if you decide to be happy, I think that's the key. And this book absolutely goes through the whole journey. I won't tell you once for the end, but it's um, it's a wonderful book. And oh wow, guys, this could lead in. What is the best book that you've read, and what's the number one thing you learned from that? Tyler, how can you ask me about one book when I've read thousands? <laughs> I've read two thousand on my Kindle alone. I've given away libraries of books, so I'm going to say. Um, uh, things that change my life is obviously mentalism. Where do I get that from? Like most people, different age, different books influenced you on your values and your beliefs. At 11, it was Enid Blast and the Faraway Tree to escape the bloody boredom of school. At 21, it was how to win friends and influence people, especially boyfriends. At 31, it's uh, books on being a perfect parent and teaching your two-year-old to read and Jonathan Livingston Seagull. 41, um, the unbearable likeness of being, sort of escaping this drudgery that my life fell into. Um, and then the business books, Cialdini, Stephen Covey, um, metaphysical books, the book of knowledge, the keys of Enoch. Now, right now, if I had to choose uh, the Kibalion, which is a, a hermetic book about hermetic philosophy, Ingo Swan's Secrets of Power. Oh, this is a book you must read, Volume 1. Individual Empowerment versus the Societal Paranama of Power and Depowerment. And you read that and you think, oh, my God, I'm still in the Matrix page, you know. Um, wow. And uh, there's a lovely one which just lights you up and makes you happy. And it's a, it's a children's book. It's called This Morning I Met a Whale by Michael Morpurgia uh, about the miracle of life, love, and, and letting go. So I can't choose one book, Tyler, sorry, but those are a few. No, those sound amazing. I'm pumped to uh, check those out. And uh, next question I have for you, and maybe, you, maybe you'll have more than one, but what is your favorite quote and why? I'm sure you have a bunch. Oh, it's that one with, um, with Tesla. He says, um, I can't quote it exactly now, but everything is energy. Um, you know, if you, oh, if you want to know the secret of the universe, just focus on energy and vibration. That's it. Mm. Uh, and when you um, analyze it, energy, your, your mind brain waves, <clears throat> the higher your brain waves, the higher you're living, your life, your everything. And uh, yeah, yes. that's, that's the one I love best. And thank you so much for coming on. I, the last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? Online? I have a website. It's not a very good one, and I want to talk to you about it now that you're helping me. <laughs> um, but it's uh, quantumlearninginthecloud.org. Perfect. Thanks again, Aya. We appreciate you coming on. And thank you for asking me, Tyler. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.